Kamen Rider Agicho, 15 years later. It's never difficult to determine where it was too difficult or too easy to understand. In a direct sequel to Kamen Rider Kuga. There's a lot of upgrades in this season. A large cast. Dark tone. It's well beloved, even though not the most popular. It was dark yet it had a anti police vibe to it. The female G three police lead the fantastic job and it's a shame she never hit a big on the acting scene. Like Kaixa. It's one of those really prideful moments when the acting transcends the genre. She's intelligent yet hates how police ruined her in the city. The monsters really learned an emphasis. Never was the fact that it was an indirect sequel to Kuga, like Wikipedia claims. No one really believed that though. Akito was interesting. He's the interesting Nomori hierarchy. Perhaps even Duke Orgish. He made the show unique as the police drama played out. It's a shame it wasn't emphasized later on. The cast and characters seemed highly praised, and that was pretty much the show. It wasn't about Monster of the Week, even though I had it, but learning this huge cast, seeing the four writers, a you know, great amount of supporting cast, I debated even the human street police were the bad guys. A lot of the cast were going to future projects and acting gigs, but as I mentioned, Toko Fujita was severely underrated.